So we have this sister that's going to talk about some stereotypes about tipping uh, when it comes to black Americans. Let's go ahead and roll that. I'm going to address the top two or three stereotypes uh, that there are about um, black people coming into a restaurant or dining in. Number one, the main stereotype that you hear is they don't tip well. The standard tip is 20%, right? If you're going to tip, the standard is 20%. A lot of African-Americans don't tip at all. Listen, I'm a restaurant server and I'm a black one, right? So I, we work for people's change and I don't care what ethnicity you are. So with me working for tips, that means I don't see skin color. All I see is money. So I don't have a reason to lie. Um, and I can honestly say as a server, when I go out and dine somewhere, you always tip based on service. I don't care. I, I stand by that. You tip based on service. You receive good service, please tip accordingly. You receive bad service, please tip accordingly. Boom. African-Americans, not all, but the majority, and I'm talking at least 80%, do not tip appropriately. A lot of them don't even tip at all, okay? Uh, the number two stereotype, um, they are very cheap. They will run you ragged, be mean to you and be rude to you to, for you not to even receive a tip, for them not even to, you know, spend a lot on their bill. They'll be asking, oh, my God, the mac and cheese is seven dollars. Oh, my God. the um, they, they, they mean to you. Right. And I see it all the time. I can honestly say I see it happen to my Caucasian uh, co-workers a lot. I work in the exact same industry. When I serve an African-American table, I don't give you the impression that you could be rude to me. If you ain't going to tip, that's your choice. You, 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 you know, you're going to ask a thousand questions about the menu that you didn't know before you ever got here. That's your choice. But being mean and rude to me, and I don't give a damn who you are, because you can take that tip and you can shove it right where the sun don't shine. I don't exchange, you know, money for respect. And I feel like that happens a lot. Um, with serving an African-American table, the, it'll be a party of 15 and only, but only, but which, which we done saved and reserved, you know, plenty of tables for this party. And then only five show up. Two hours later, two more show up to the point where the server's running behind now, the kitchen is running behind now. It's, it's inconsiderate. And, and like I said, these are things that I see. Or it could be a party of 15 and all of a sudden, it, it grows into a party of 30. Why wouldn't you let us know of the change in the reservation so, we can, so it could be more comfortable for you as you dine in and so we can plan appropriately as a business? Now, one thing that I have learned, de definitely through travel, that tipping is an American thing. Uh, there are other cultures that don't tip as well. A lot of Europeans do not tip. Um, I was definitely told that while I was in South Africa. Certain Asian groups, uh, don't tip either. That's not in their culture. One man said that a Japanese uh, guy told him, oh, we don't tip. He said, but I'll give you a matcha Kit Kat that, from Japan. I'll give you that. And, and so they'll have them doing the same thing, working all day and doing everything and not tipping. So it's just not black Americans um, who do not tip. Um, it's definitely something that's kind of worldwide, but it is an American culture. Now, we have covered before that tipping came from uh, black people having to work in restaurants originally, and the way they were paid was through tips. They weren't even getting paid at all. Um, you look at fast forward today, service workers, especially in the restaurants, they're only getting paid, what, $2 and what, 14 cents, oh, correct me if I'm wrong, on that, an hour, they're not even getting minimum wage, and they have to you know, work with tips. Now, I'm the type of person if I don't have money to be tipping nobody, I just want to go into a restaurant because they are providing a service. They're going to get the food for you. They're going to get drinks for you. They're bringing it from the kitchen. They're picking up your food. They tending to your kid. They're doing all kinds of things for you. It is considered a service. Some of you may say, well, shoot, it's a job. Yes, it is a job, but it's also doing a service. And then like she said, some of you are extra demanding about the menu. Some of you bring extra people that they didn't anticipate for all of that. So when you're doing that, at least at minimum, give 20% of a tip. That way you good. Matter of fact, factor that in 
into your bill. Say, look, I got this much money for a bill tonight, so I'm gonna go ahead on and factor in this tip. Because I always tell people, if you don't wanna tip nobody, just cook at home. You ain't gotta worry about tipping no one. You just cook at home. I just think that it's, you know, especially we talk about our community, right? You can't help out a brother or sister, or anybody for that matter, that gave you some good service, treated you nice, why do you gotta have an attitude? Because every time I bring up this topic, people wants to have an attitude. Where's well, my money? I don't have to give it, and this and that and the third. And this is why nobody wanna serve you. This is why when they see you come in, everybody wanna turn away or don't wanna serve you is because you're known to do that, unfortunately. And then I get caught up, or other brothers and sisters get caught up who's not that way because they thinking, the majority in this and why I'm talking about this as well is my daughters, both of them had worked as servers and they told me, yes, black people don't want to tip black people be the ones that, that leave you a $5 tip too. They'll leave you a $2 tip. They bill with $300 and they'll leave you a $200 tip. This happened to my daughter a whole lot of times. Now, as she said, but when it comes to the other people of other groups, especially them folks, they will give her real good tips and the bill don't even be that high. Now, why is that? We should be tipping our brothers and sisters definitely for sure taking care of them. Because you got some people come on here talking about rah, 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 pro-black, but then when it comes to giving to black people, you don't want to do that. And that's wrong. Like, if you, if you, I tell people the biggest pro-black thing you could do is put some money into our brother and sister's pocket and, and help them feed their kids or pay a bill or do something that day. That is the best pro-black thing you could do in our community. I'm not talking about other communities that try to get over by giving us money. I'm talking about within our own community, circling our dollars in our community. You could do it very easily through tipping people, especially when you go into a restaurant. Don't be like that. You know, and this coming from a person that used to didn't want to tip either. I was like that when I was young, I ain't tipping. For what? That's their job. I used to be that way. So I know I know the mindset. And that mindset at the time I had was wrong. It was trifling because somebody was doing a service for me. A lot of African Americans don't tip at all. Listen, I'm a restaurant server and I'm a black one, right? So I, we work for people's change and I don't care what ethnicity you are. So with me working for tips, that means I don't see skin color. All I see is money. So I don't have a reason to lie. Um, and I can honestly say, as a server, when I go out and dine somewhere, you always tip based on service. I don't care. I, I stand by that. You tip based on service. You receive good service, please tip accordingly. You receive bad service, please tip accordingly. Boom. African Americans, not all, but the majority, and I'm talking at least 80%, do not tip appropriately. A lot of them don't even tip at all, okay? Uh, the number... Two stereotype. Um, they are very cheap. They will run you ragged, be mean to you, and be rude to you to, for you not to even receive a tip, for them not even to, you know, spend a lot on their bill. They'll be asking, oh my God, the mac and cheese is seven dollars. Oh my God, the um they 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 mean to you. So tip your brothers and sisters when they do want a good service for you. I know service workers all over the country would appreciate that, and even those in other countries. But let me know what you think about this, uh, because we just need to, if, if, if definitely, if we have it to go spend two, three hundred dollars, then we should be ha having enough to say, okay, let me give a brother or sister a $20 tip, at least that much.